Hi, Tiago here, and I'm going to show you how you can create a preliminary WPS in Wildnode. So you come here to the WPS menu and go to the PWPS submenu. So you can search for your existing uh, PWPSs, but I'm going to go to create a new one. And let's give it a name, WPS, actually PWPS0001 demo. Okay, and I select ASME section 9 and create preliminary WPS. Okay, so first things first, let's select some information. So it's going to be a butt weld on a pipe and it's going to be a butt joint and I'm going to do uh, GTAW and manual welding position on the 5G kind of position. Uh, it's going to be a DC minus, it's going to be multi-layer and single size, no backing. And I'm going to limit the interpass temperature of on 50, 150 Celsius. You'll have this in Fahrenheit and inches if you're using uh, this software in America. Um, so as far as base materials, let's go with the stainless steel here. So a TP316L, which is pretty commonplace nowadays. Um, so the base metal thickness will be uh, from 10 to 20 and the welder thickness will be the similar. And as far as uh, diameter, let's limit it from 20 19 to 324 okay so preparation methods grinding machining and let's just select um, this uh, double groove v uh, so it's going to be uh, 30 to 35 and the root face is going to be one to two and the root gap is also going to be one to two millimeters and as far as the consumables, let's select something simple like an ER316L, which is very commonplace. This is going to be 2.4 millimeters and the gas is going to be argon with 15 liters per minute. Uh, since it's a stainless steel, I'm going to put some backing as well and it's going to have 5 liters per minute. So now we're on to selecting uh, the passes. So let's create a new pass here and so pass number one will be on the root pass and let's say 80 to 114 actually 12 to 14 and let's say 55 to 65 okay and if i confirm the changes there i have a, a pass here so let's say i want to do two passes and uh, let's say the second pass will be from 100 to 120 and 13 to 15 and this is going to be a little bit faster from 65 to 75 confirm changes all right so um, I'm gonna save my WPS now and there are three actions that you can do you can export it into a PDF which will generate the WPS in our uh, server and uh, create something that you can then put in front of your welders like you're seeing right here has all the information that you input beforehand. Um, you can also save it to Excel, but you can create a qualification. You can create a PQR or a certificate based on this PWPS. All that you gotta do is input some information like the actual base metal used instead of the uh, uh, instead of a range of thicknesses. Uh, same goes for the welded thickness and essentially all the parameters that are fixed values. And this is how you can create a PWPS in Wellnote. Thanks for watching.